there are some people who do still say, well, electric cars are nice, but they're not green. All right, back from summer vacation. It's been a nice little trip to London. Saw the eclipse, went to the beach. It's been a nice August, but now we are back talking about electric cars, the electrification of automobiles across the country and around the world. Been a lot of interesting announcements in August. Um, Tesla Model 3 seems to be in full swing. People who are holding a reservation got a little bit of taste of what the different models are and found a way to find out sort of when they're getting their delivery. And I am very lucky to say that I'm gonna get mine before the end of the year, which is really nice. And others can find out more and more as the weeks go on. So Musk seems to be turning up the heat on really uh, getting production in motion. And other companies are also reacting. BMW is saying the i3 is gonna have a little more muscle, uh, a little more aggressive styling, better acceleration. And in fact, uh, it's gonna get a little bit more in the mileage and the range. It's gonna have 100 miles of range, a little bit more than 84 it had. And also BMW also announced that they're gonna have an electric Model 3, excuse me, uh, Series 3. Uh, so electric cars are coming. At the end of the day, the, the Model 3 is still the, uh, the gold standard as far as I'm concerned, and Bolt, the Chevy Bolt, which really has an opportunity to beat Tesla, but has not come out quick enough, in my opinion. There's a video on that, you can check it out. Um, it's really their world, and it's an amazing world that it's gonna be electric cars. And when I say that to some people, there are some people who do still say, well, electric cars are nice, but they're not green. I mean, they say they're green, but they're really not. And I'm kind of perplexed by that. I'm like, well, of course they're green. There's no tailpipe, there's no emissions, there's zero emissions. They're green. It's like, no, they're not. What about the electricity? What about the production of electricity? That's not a green thing. Okay, it's not. I mean, yeah, you use fossil fuels in most places, not all, to make electricity, and that's true. For the most part, you're really talking about coal because natural gas is cleaner than gasoline. And then you're talking about nuclear and wind and hydroelectric and solar, all cleaner than gasoline. So it comes down to coal generated electricity and how much of that is being used for electricity generation in your state. Uh, it's a very complicated thing and I can't easily summarize the mathematics behind it. Suffice to say, and I'll give you all the links below, gasoline powered cars are dirtier than all electric cars. Trust me on that and I'll show you all the links below. Here's the thing that I think about from a common sense standpoint. When I drive my electric car, there's no tailpipe. There is no emissions coming out of my car. The pickup truck in front of me right now has two huge tailpipes spewing CO2, ozone, carbon monoxide. That alone makes my car greener. Why? Because my kids and my neighbors and people in parking lots and in hospitals where I'm driving to, getting no emissions going into their lungs anywhere I'm driving. That counts for something. I'm not spewing pollution while I'm driving. But then people say, what about the batteries? What about the batteries? And I get it. Batteries and the production of batteries and disposal of batteries inherently sound non-green. This one actually is easier. There's no fancy chemistry, there's no fancy mathematics. Production of batteries, let's look at that. Production is usually done with lithium, and a couple other materials, mostly cobalt. Lithium is very clean to mine. It comes out of the ground, it usually has a brine, and the, they are set into evaporation pools. And as soon as it's evaporated, the mineral then is dug up and transported to make batteries. Uh, relative to oil production, it's really clean. That leads the cobalt. Cobalt's a problem. Cobalt is a problem not because of environmental issues, but because of political issues. The majority of cobalt in this world comes from one country, and that's the Congo. The Congo has really bad labor laws, and there's the chance of child labor and slave labor for that cobalt, and that's a bad thing. On the good news, the good side, companies like Tesla, companies like BMW and, and VW have also come out and said, we are doing our best not to source cobalt from Africa, and instead sourcing it from North America, China, Indonesia, and South America. So they're doing their best, but that's not a pollution issue. That's a political issue. And that's different from calling an electric car a green car, not a green car. And it can be solved. And as battery production goes up because electric car production goes up, people will find new sources in North America and other places to find that cobalt and mine it and use it in a responsible way. Also on the battery side is the question of disposal. And people say, well, all these batteries are put into a junkyard and that's inherently dirty. These polluting hazardous materials are thrown into junkyards. 100% not true. Yes, it can be thrown in a junkyard. But the business model is not that. The business model is to recycle and to reuse those electric batteries and put them into new cars. Because the amazing thing about batteries, they can be reconditioned and recycled. 
Tesla involved, is invested in a company that does that. BMW takes their battery recycling and reconditioning very seriously. There are companies that have started up, most notably FreeWire Technologies, which entire business model is finding batteries from Nissan Leafs and other electric cars, reconditioning them and reselling them as um, power generating units for events and for companies and for even supercharging uh, electric cars. All batteries can be reconditioned and recycled. It's an amazing thing. So batteries are not the issue. And if coal is used for majority of electric power in your state, then maybe your electric car doesn't seem to be green, but it actually is. So there you have it. I think electrification transportation is gonna happen. I understand people sometimes are weary about change. It's sort of hardwired in our evolution to not like change, but this change is gonna happen. And electric cars are cleaner, quicker, easier to maintain than gasoline powered cars. And I urge people to not to look at the negative, the potential negatives and some of the lies that are out there about it and to embrace the technology because it's super cool. By the way, on a future video, we're gonna have Nick from the Electric Connection here in Los Angeles, super smart guy, installed tons of electric car plugs, has done all the wiring circuits. He knows his stuff really, really well. He's gonna be sitting in that seat over there and we'll do an interview here and he'll answer your questions. So if you have questions you wanna give him now, go to takingchargev at gmail.com, submit them. Mm -hmm.